Hello, bunny lovers, and welcome to Green Acres Lion Heads. This is Selling Your Bunnies, Part 1, Picture Perfect. I'm going to start with picking out the best bunny for the featured picture in my ad. And this can be an ad for online, like I do, a newspaper, however you want to do it. You can even make flyers if you want to. So I'm going to start by picking out the best bunny. You want to find the prettiest one in the litter, the one that really shows off your breed standard the best, the fluffiest, the cutest, the whatever you're going for, depending on what you want to sell the rabbit for. For instance, if you've got meat rabbits, then the biggest, meatiest is the best one. If you want pets, then the cutest, the fluffiest is probably the best. Breeding rabbits, then probably the one who best fits the standard. Whatever it is, pick out the best bunny from the litter. I'm going to choose since I sell for pets, the very smallest, fluffiest of them all, this little fella, right here, or maybe this one's a girl, they all have the same coloring and I've gotten lazy about sexing them. Now you probably want to set up a makeshift photo studio that looks good with your bunny. Now I have set up this over here, which I know does not look like much. Now you don't have to lean up a board against some or lean a board up against something like I did. Um, I've frequently used chairs before, like the back of a chair. You can hang something from a wall, and you don't have to use sweatshirts either. I've used blanket sheets, towels, even like paintings or large pictures. Um, if you want to hang them up on like a wall behind your bunny or something. I in this case have just set this up because I wanted to do a kind of a springtime themed thing so I thought green would be good and I couldn't find any green sheets or blankets. Now if you kind of zoom in a bit can't even see the edges and of course there's cropping photos to do. So center warning taking pictures of animals is not easy they like to move like that. Just don't don't ever get discouraged. Distract them with some food off camera. Do whatever you can. But I I mean I I know it's not easy, but it's quite rewarding, especially when you finally manage to sell one. Or maybe they sell like hotcakes because you followed all those tips that you found on YouTube and suddenly everybody's looking at your ad. <laughs> well, maybe not. Uh, bonus points if you can get them in the pose for your breed. Um, I have trouble getting these little guys just to hold still, so I don't think I'm going to try for that unless I've got a really well-behaved one. If you want to try and press down on them a bit, stroke them, get them to calm down, stop moving. Um, lion heads are not as jumpy as some other breeds, so uh, it takes some time, but I can usually get mine to hold still after a little while, show off their pretty manes, all that good stuff. Now, doesn't that look pretty? The white bunny in the green background. Once you've got them calm enough, you just have to stop them from falling asleep. There you go, that'd make a great picture. Unless the bunny hops away. <laughs> Come back here, you. See? Great picture. Now, what exactly do you do with these pictures once you have them? Well, you probably want to <laughs> come back here, take a few. You want a leaf bunny wing? You can always hold some food off camera if the bunny doesn't seem interested in holding still on its own. Or give it something to eat and pretend it's a set piece. You can use little props, you can put the bunnies in baskets, you don't even have to use a backdrop like I did. If you have something else that looks cool, like sticking them in a basket, or some colorful cups, or maybe like on a brick wall against a tree, in a cluster of clovers, whatever you think looks cute, go with it. If you want to put some little bows or clips on them, go ahead, as long as it doesn't hurt the bunny. Anything you can do to spice up the pictures a little bit, go ahead and do it. I unfortunately do not have any little bow clips at my disposal at the moment. Um, but if I did, I would definitely be sticking them on these guys. Although most of them are male, so, you know. 
Uh, if you have a litter that's all the same color, like I do, you don't have to take pictures of all of them. Just pick out a few of the best ones and make sure to mention in your ad how many there are and how many of each gender. <laughs> you silly bun. Um, I think that is it for the photo section. Uh, next I will move on to actually creating the ad, which I think will be a first for me as a computer screen video instead of an actual video of the bunnies.